and thought the morning that the lingers for an eternity. I'm eternally somewhere in between resistance and liberty. What am I, what am I gonna do when you're not here to talk to? What am I, what am I gonna say? Siempre que lo hace un palo, eh, le pese y you un know. Esta vida, mami, es un regalo, la isla se robó el show. Y yo que solamente puse mi mano y Diosito me entregó el don. Te juro que se siente muy... Cuando eran tiempos de comienzo y te está pasando muy rápido, me da vertigo que ves que lo pienso. Pero se me pasa cuando recuerdo todo el sacrificio y esfuerzo, yeah. O cuando ella me da un beso, cada vez que me pongo ten suel. Ya que me junté con Sergi, sabía de sobra que haríamos historia. Rebamos mil palos, reímos, lloramos, papi, y el resto es historia, yeah, yeah. Momentos que nunca se nos irán de la memoria. L.A. L.B. Mami, es que hay los favoritos de tu novia. Nunca me olvido de los que estuvieron en los tiempos que estaban mal. De París con Rosito y Edu cuando el pisa la capital. Es un día quiero que vos hizo hablen en mi documental. Confiaron en mí cuando no era nadie, confiaron en mí cuando no había nada. Mami, ahora tenemos de todo, tenemos para coger. Ya no intenten hablar con Felipe. The Rockets on their way to the locker room earlier on, looking to deliver the gift of a big win to the home crowd tonight. And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. And tonight, we'll see the Houston Rockets as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now we'll look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. In the post, it's Tucker in NB. Maxi out there with Harden, and it's Harris in at the small forward. And for the Rockets, the pairing up front, Smith in Shengu. The wings, Green and Brooks, and it's Van Vliet in at the point guard. And some preseason NBA games taking place out of the country. Greg, it's been a great way for the NBA to extend its global outreach. It gives fans outside of North America a chance to see the stars play. Seems like a great way for the players to try something new. And I'm guessing this one sticks around. Here we go. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Here's Maxi. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Van Vliet passes to Green. Down low. Here's Brooks. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Harden. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Van Vliet against Harden. 
Van Vliet passes to Shingu. And a miss there on the triple. Up top, MB. And MB throws it down. Well, you know, there's only so much you can do against MB, guys. I mean, he's such a terrifically skilled offensive player with great size. I mean, he plays pretty much through any kind of contact. Now here's Van Vliet. We saw him with 10 points last game. And there's the three second call. This one on the deflation. Clark, we know they're a young team with plenty of room for improvement. What's the most important things you think for these Rockets to do? Well, first and foremost, they've really struggled with turnovers. They've got to squeeze the orange. I mean, it's hard to win if you're turning the ball over. I think it's a matter of being organized at the offensive end. And the technical free throw is good. Well, Clark, even with all their roster movement, all the player moves they've made, the 76ers have managed to have sustained success. You know what, Kevin, I agree. Their roster has gone through a lot of changes recently with key players being moved, which makes it even harder to sustain success. But they've found a way to keep winning. Now, here's Shangoon. Count it. At home in the paint. Alperon Shangoon has great footwork. And here's Harden for three. That's his second Jeez. shot oh, and his second basket. He's two for two. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. There's Green with the three. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Philadelphia's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. It's good. Nice touch there from Maxi. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly feeling it. Green, the pass to Shengu. Smith outside. That three off the mark. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of five from the field so far. Here's Maxi. Again, Henry's Philadelphia. Maxi. With the speed at which Maxi plays, that pull up is almost impossible to deal with. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxi. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Van Vliet outside. It's Shengu, top of the key. Outside, Green. Knocks down the three ball. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. The 76ers leading by three. Here's Harden. And the 76ers James tack on Harden. two more. The backcourt today as good as it gets. And, and they've earned the green light every time they touch the ball. Green with the ball. Maxi covering. Van Vliet with the bucket. And you have to appreciate the confidence. Van Vliet wastes no time shooting the rock when he is in that group. And that one is good. And that's now nine points for James Harden. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Here's Van Vliet, and there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Smith for three. The rebound by Hart. The 76ers leading by four. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Oh, man, that's, it's first close, team but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. Here's Harden. And the jam by Harden. Boy, it's Tucker ever hard. unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. And so it's Houston with it. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And with the type of defense they played that day, they were able to cause a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and causing a lot of turnovers, as you well know, means cashing in on those opportunities, which really can put a team in a bad way in a hurry. 
and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Tucker does not shy away from contact, not afraid at all. He expects it, sees it coming, stays poised, and gets the and one chance there. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Call. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Vliet in hopes of stabilizing that roster. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. They are the one and only Watch. the stats for Dylan Brooks. Some last season stats for him. He was around 14 points a game last year. Three rebounds and two assists. And always nice to have a guy like him who can really defend at a high level coming off the bench. You know, when you can sub in a lockdown defender, that's a major plus. In the corner, Smith with it. Shot to stop the run. Harden grabs the miss. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. And it goes down two points. When you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, they're doing everything right. How about that? I mean, this could turn into a blowout very quickly. Now here's Brooks. Shangun kicks to Van Vliet. A three-pointer, no good. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. PJ. They lead by 11. And you Three can't points. help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. And they pick up two. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. From about 19 feet, Rock up two there. Tucker's got 10 points in the game. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now, here's Green. Kicks it to Brooks. Back to Green. Lets it go from deep. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Green, impressive range from deep. He knows how dangerous he can be from there. And B, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Now here's Van Vliet. Brooks with no one around. No good from outside. The 76ers leading by 11. Here's Harris. Green with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Van Vliet with it. Maxi covering. And Shingoon throws it down. How about the bounce ability of Shingoon getting himself way up there? 
Good on the shot. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Here's Van Vliet after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Van Vliet passes to Shingu. And Shingu throws it down. Working that pick and roll action superbly. Shangoon knows exactly where he needs to be. Harden inside the three point line. James Basket Harden. is good. The assist, assist from Harris. He's to got 13. Harris. And how about the performance we're seeing from him? Not one miss on the day. And a lot of speculation, GA, of what would happen with Harden. As of now, he remains a sixer. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't a new landing place for him. Many thought the Clippers would go after Harden, but for the time being, MB. he's going for another round with Philly. The Rockets MB's mid-range touch is really improving. It's noticeable. Now a timeout called by Houston. Checked in for the 76ers. Yo, little dipper. Who is here for him? Here's Brooks. Smith with a screen on Oubre. Here's Brooks. Got it. Good job in the low post. Brooks has got his third basket of the night. The 76ers leading by nine. The shot from 20 feet away. And the 76ers tack on two more. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. And here is Van Vliet. Six points for him. They double team Van Vliet and the wide open shot from Green. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got four assists in the game. Here's Maxi. And the 76ers tack on two more. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. You're exactly right. I mean, they've banged home eight of their last 10 points on mid range jumpers. Now, here's Van Vliet. Oubre pulls it in. Brooks against Maxi. Rockets with the rebound. Getting their first look, a preseason look at the 76ers here. Yeah, a good matchup. These are two teams that played each other to a draw in the regular season last year. Yeah, they split that season series, Greg, last year. This one just preseason, but it should give us some clues as to how this season may play out. Oubre, good. Wow, 10 straight points from mid-range. You know what I've always said, partner? Good shooting covers over a multitude of eels. And we're seeing it right now. Now here's Brooks. Brooks setting the pick for Green. And the three ball is good. Green's got a back down within single digits for Houston. 
And, and Green's become a, a dependable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, Kelly, he can certainly knock Kelly. those down. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assists. Brooks misses. So the 76ers, their last game, a loss to the Celtics. Here's Embiid, and the 76ers oh, tack on Embiid. two more. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. I love that mid-range shot. It's definitely given the defender something extra to think about. The offensive rebound. Here's Green. Good D by Harden. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Got that one up quick. Oubre's got six points. And they are earning points with the jump shot now. And Greg, while the Sixers have been effective time and again, they've been unable to get past the conference semifinal. Where they bowed out in five of the last six years. But you go back, they haven't made it any further since Allen Iverson led them to the final. Back in the one. The 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Here. Shen Goon's checked in for Smith. Whitmore comes in for Brooks. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Jalen Green. And it's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. Then for the 76ers, Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Embiid. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Maxi, And it's Patrick Beverly in for James Harden. One forty-one left to play in the first quarter. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. While well, we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. The 76ers, number one. You know, they went through stretches when they just didn't miss from beyond the arc. I mean, that carried them right to the top of that list. Whitmore with it, covered by Oubre. Passes it to Green. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Whitmore throws it down. There's no shortage of verticality to Whitmore's game. He makes for a big target above the rim. Melton's yes, shot is good. And the 76ers lead by 13. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Now, oh, here's Shingu. He had 15 points last out. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Not one second chance bucket allowed. That is finishing off good defense. Here's Thompson. Pass to Whitmore. Outside Green. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. No good on the triple. 
The 76ers leading by 15. Ring shot on the way. And the 76ers tack on two more. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And a wide open look for Whitmore. Another miss by Houston. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Here's Melton. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. James Harden getting it done for the 76ers. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we'll be right back after this. Always a joy to get a sneak peek of the NBA season ahead as we get back to the action. Guys, 76ers pretty much in control here, it would seem. Showing a lot of confidence in their rotation. They went right to that bench when they needed points. And you know, when the bench is playing such a big role early, that certainly allows the starters to stay fresh throughout the game. Greg, you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. Ridmore is out there with Green. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Alperin Shangoon. And it's Bullock in at the two guard. That's the five for Houston right now. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Rockets trailed by 19. Pass to Shengu. Pamba with the block. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. The Rocket shooting reasonably well, 45%. Bullock passes to Shengu. And there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Good hustle right there. I love that effort. Just a little late in the act. Tari Eason's checked in for Jeff Green. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Daniel House has checked in for Reed. Harden dishes to Oubre. Here's Bamba. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Bamba's got his second basket of the night. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. 19-point game. To the paint. Here's Shengun. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Shengun's got 10 points in the game. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare to work out. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, DA. Here's Whitmore. After the Sixers pick up two. Back to Eason. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Eason's got his first points of the night. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, 
keep making them pay. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Thompson against Harden. And Thompson kicks to Bullock. Here's Eason. Misses the three. The 76ers leading by 17. Here's Bamba. And the wing jumper offline. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Whitmore. Guarded by Harden. That's a shot he doesn't shoot very often. Thompson's got five points now this quarter. Thompson. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Jonas. Boy, good strength that time from Bomba. He's accustomed to getting bodied on the way up and still finding a way to finish. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the lead is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Brooks comes in for Whitmore. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Reggie Bullock. Van Vliet looking around. And the pass to Easton. And here's Thompson. Now Easton. 11 points last game. Five on the clock to the middle. Shingun. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Shingun's got 12 points in the game. Philadelphia leading by 14. And they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, and the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Woo! Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. The three from Harden. Another three James for Philadelphia. Harden. And two more three-point field goals for him here in the second quarter. Somebody had better get a hand up. Eason with a screen for Thompson. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Eason with a screen for Van Vliet. From deep three-point land. And it's Reed pulling it down. Philadelphia leading by 20. And Bamba with the basket on the assist by Oubre. Oubre's got three assists now in this one. The Rockets have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter, well above the 50% mark from the field. To the paint, to halt the run, and he gets it to go. Shingun's got eight points in the quarter. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Here's Melton, and the 76ers the tack on Melton. two more. You know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach would prefer a higher percentage look next time. Eason, a screen on Hart. Van Vliet passes to Eason. Brooks kicks to Thompson. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, and I think they just seem to be a page behind. A step slower out there all game. Brooks misses. Philadelphia's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. From about 19 feet, and the 76ers tack on two more. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Inside. Here's Shengu. And it's Melton with the rebound. 
Philadelphia has gone a very strong four for five from three point land in the ball game. Wasted no time on that one. Assisted. 16 points for Muhammad Bamba. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Shengun with a screen on Hart. Van Vliet passes to Shengun. And Shengun throws it down. Another hoop for Shengun. They can't stop it. He's got a different kind of game, and I think it's really hard for defenders to deal with him. And Philadelphia calls time here. On the floor, Yoko, Yoko, Yoko. Smith, he's checked in for Shengun. Whitmore comes in for Tari Eason. And Jalen Green subbed in for Thompson. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Bamba. P.J. Tucker comes in for Paul Reed. Tobias Harris is checked in for Oubre. And Maxi subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. Philadelphia's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. It's Harden with the drive, not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. To the inside, here's Van Vliet. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists in the game. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Well, constantly finding lanes to the basket, getting great looks inside. Houston's gone one of six from three-point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%, but they've continued to let him fly. And Smith with the stop. Oh, and Smith put some real power behind that jam. Well done, young man. Part one benefit that Jabari Smith has had in his career is the wisdom from his dad. He has learned a lot. No wisdom like a father's wisdom, particularly when a dad has traveled the road that his son is traveling in the NBA. I'm sure his dad learned a ton in his experience that he has passed on to Jabari Smith Jr. in a way that's benefited the younger Smith. Let's it go from the wing, and the 76ers tack on two more. Harris spots the opening and helps his team exploit it. The Rockets shooting a sweet 57% clip in quarter number two. Van Vliet wide open. Buries the long-range jumper. Van Vliet's got five points in the quarter. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. And the basket by Embiid. Assisted by nice find right there from Hart. Excellent at getting his teammates involved. Rocket shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. Harden against Van Vliet. Down low. And Smith with the stuff. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, Joel even on a power Embiid. finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that Two combination of power and time. polish. Two minutes. Van Vliet against Harden. Brooks, the pass to Green. Van Vliet outside. Feeds to Smith. Just five to shoot. 
That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Smith's got eight points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Sometimes we get how sneaky athletic Harris is. Nice job getting all the way to the bucket. We've got 128 left here in the second. Harden against Van Vliet to the inside. Here's Brooks. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside, Maxi shoots over Van Vliet. And the 76ers tack on two more. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Good on the triple. I like when Green aggressively hunts his shot. He's a very impressive offensive player for as young as he is. Here's Embiid. Oh, man. Embiid. Boy, this big guy, Joel Embiid, is a center with an awesome dunking arsenal. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Harden against Van Vliet. And the basket by Harden. Harden's got 29 in the game. Well, I tell you what, with Harden, sometimes it seems the more the defense bodies him up, the more determined and effective he is in scoring. Green kicks to Van Vliet. Off target from outside. Philadelphia's got a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game. And Maxi gets it to go on the assist, the assist. from Tucker. PJ Tucker's got his third assist on the night. Van Vliet with it. 11 points in the game. Outside, Green. A three-pointer is right on target. Green's got a pair of triples in the second now for Houston. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. And so it's Philadelphia leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, the reserves have been a big story. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've got to stop, so we're going to need them to keep it going. We'll see if they can close it out in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Thanks for tuning in. We love the mountain climbing, don't we? Well, there's a huge mountain to climb for the Houston Rockets. They can't stop anything down low. Playing soft. S-O-F, capital T. Softer than Egyptian cotton, softer than a bag of marshmallows. S-O-F, capital T. Big fella, that is soft. And since we've got a moment, let's go to social media, see what's on the fans' minds. And I like this question from Jams in Milwaukee. You guys look like you're having so much fun up there. Seriously now, what's your favorite part of this job? My favorite part of working here is dun, 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 when I get to leave and go home at night. My favorite part is watching you fall asleep. My favorite part is just being able to sit shoulder to shoulder with you guys and do something we love. You buying that? That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half.
And we're getting back to the action. It's the NBA preseason here on 2K Sports. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. So on the floor for Philadelphia, the forwards, Harris and Tucker. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris. Embiid in at the center position. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran additions, headlined by Fred Van Vliet, key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. Houston's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside green. Here he goes. Smith wide open. He fires. Off target with his three. The 76ers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's Embiid. It's rebounded by Houston. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Green passes to Shengu. Good D by Embiid. Philadelphia's gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game. And the rejection by Smith. You can tell DJ. Smith really relishes being a force on defense. Blocks like that will help him anchor himself at that end of the floor. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. Clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. One shot. In terms of the ideal stretch four, Clark Tobias Harris fits the mold. Yeah, he does so much so well on the court. He's an excellent three-point shooter, helps space the floor. But as a defensive end, he's versatile, he's tough, battles on the glass as well. And I just love his overall game. And here's Harden for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Here's Brooks. Eight points for him. Passes it to Shengu. Here's Van Vliet. Right side green. Six on the shot clock. Taken away. Well, we're in. Whoa! What a finish! Good. The six goes to. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam King. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. The NBA, of course, is so loaded, it's not easy to come out on top. Joel Embiid said, for us to be able to win, we need to try to be perfect. I need to play at the highest level possible. Our shooters and defense have to do their job. It's tough, but it's fun. I guess you have to enjoy the journey as well, Kevin. Yep, the journey, right, David, is the reward. That's for sure. Dave, thanks. Now, here's Green. He's got 12. Smith finds Green. No good on the triple. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for Philadelphia. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Really not part of Maxie's bag, but he was feeling it that time. And here is Van Vliet. 14 points for him. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet. Smith outside. The Rockets with another miss. 76ers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Here's Harden. The Rockets pull it in. Brooks outside. 
And some nice passing there by Houston. Shangoon kicks to Green. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds now tonight. Let's the three fly. Head shot off. Houston's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Three-pointer, Brooks. The Rockets with another miss. Philadelphia's gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Maxi, no good. The Rockets shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. With the teardrop, rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Timeout called the 76ers. in the action. Let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. The 76ers, number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws, and I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Harden surveying the D. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Harden's got five points now in the quarter. The creativity of an artist, that's what Harden has. An excellent decision maker, too. Comfortable at pulling from right here. Here's Van Vliet and Embiid with the block. Puts it up from 17, and it's good. Looking quite sharp with 10 of 12 shooting tonight. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense, and that, to me, has been impressive. Another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. Here's Harden, and the 76ers tack on two more. If the defense doesn't slow Harden down, he's going to continue to pile it on. Smith with a screen on Maxi. The drive by Green. The baseline J off the mark. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. You know, guys, I think he's got confidence to shoot it from anywhere, but he could have gotten a better one than that. Pass to Smith. Launches a three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got six assists now in the game. Philadelphia's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Here's Maxi, And that one hits back iron. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Smith on the wing, takes the three. Rebound by Joel and B. Philadelphia's gone five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. The 76ers again can't hit it. Brooks dishes to Green. From downtown, pass to Shengu. Back to Smith. Three-pointer. Smith missing again. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here in this quarter. 
Yeah, that pull-up jumper by Harris PJ shows his Tucker. ability to create offense for himself, and that's what all great scorers can do. Van Vliet outside. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Van Vliet's got five points now this quarter. The 76ers shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. So if you look at the Rockets' struggles, uh, Clark, over the last few seasons, what stands out to you? Well, I think it starts at the defensive end of the floor, Kevin. I mean, a team is not going to make noise in the NBA if they don't defend consistently. I'm sure improving on D is a focus this season. The pass to Shengu. He dishes it to Green. Houston moving it around. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. The 76ers shooting 45% from the field since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Here's Tucker. It's rebounded by Houston. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Smith outside. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Smith's got 16 points. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. It's stolen by Green. Wide open. And it's Houston with another. Sometimes Green just makes it look so easy. Philadelphia's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. The three from Harden. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith's got his eighth rebound here tonight. For three, Van Vliet. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Shoots over Van Vliet. That one Joel is good from Embiid. Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 22. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Van Vliet finds Shangoon. From outside, off the mark. Philadelphia's gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. And here's Harris from the arc. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And there's the drive, and he banks in the lane. And that's now 18 points so far for Jabari Smith. Shengun against Embiid. It's three pointers off the mark. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Green the pass to Shengun. Elbow shot is on the way, and it's Houston with another. But he's not working back to the basket. Shengun can pop out and face you up. Timeout called the 76ers. Fair. We want to know who wants a free teacher. Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. Oh. 
And so Beverly will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers from deep. Shengun with the rebound. And here are the Rockets now. They're on a 19-6 run. Thompson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Muhammad Bombers. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. free throw good from Thompson and Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time he's fast and boy can he fly and so he hits both Philadelphia's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Oubre, good. Oubre's got 10 points. Love the unselfishness of Beverly. I mean, when he sees his teammate wide open, he quickly gets him the ball. Back to Thompson. Houston moving the ball around. And Shen Green throws it down. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Here's Beverly, and the shot is good. Six points for him. Hey, Beverly can make it hard on the defense now because his ball control is really tight. He does a nice job maneuvering around the defense. Thompson with it. Bamba picks him up. Shingun with the bucket. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Melton, no good. And for Houston, they're shooting with confidence 50% from the field so far. 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Whitmore. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Philadelphia shooting an unreal 70% from the field, making a mockery of this defense. Beverly for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got 11 rebounds in the game. Back to Thompson. From the arc. And Whitmore gets it to go on the assist by Smith. And those are the kinds of shots that give rookies like Whitmore so much confidence. That's the three quarters of play all in the books. The and this one all but over already. Philadelphia ahead, opening up a huge gap. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. Preseason in the NBA, and it's great to have you with us. Philadelphia with the ball. We've got Alperon Shangoon. Whitmore is out there with Green. And it's Thompson. And it's Bullock in at the two spot. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Thompson against Beverly. Over in the corner, Green. Shangoon kicks to Green. Drills the three pointer. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Thompson against Beverly. Pass to Whitmore. 
And recently, the NBA, Clark had names to meet your awards. It's a nice gesture, don't you think, from the lead to the past legends? Yeah, I could not agree with you more. And really hard to argue with their choices for naming those awards after. It's a way to connect the past to the present and honor and pay homage to some of the greats in the history of the game. I like everything about it. No good on the free throw. Hey, Greg, here we are watching Cam Whitmore. What impresses you most about his game? Kevin, for me, I, I think it's his toughness. He's not afraid to get physical underneath the basket, and I really love how gritty he is on the D as well. Mark Moss, he's checked in for Daniel House. And the second free throw, good. And two words you hear about Whitmore a lot. Power and energy. Not many rookies are as ready for the physical rigors of the NBA as he is. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Pass to Whitmore. Shengun with the screen for Whitmore. Shoots over Melton. And here's Bullock from the arc. Good on the three-point shot. Yeah, that's too good a look to get yeah. from behind the arc. The 76ers leading by 21. A baseline J. Nice shot there by Bamba. 20 points for Muhammad Bamba. Capable of scoring anywhere on the court. Bamba is always a threat to go off. Thompson passes to Shengun. And Shengun throws it down. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Bamba. The rebound by Jeff Green. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Here's Beverly. The quick look, no good that time. Gets trailed by 19. Thompson with it. Bamba picks him up. And here's Bullock from the arc. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Pretty. Thompson's got his eighth assist here tonight. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Deep two from Beverly. That one wide left. Here's Houston now. They're on a 14 to four run. Beverly against Thompson. Here's Shengu. Bamba with the block. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. Smith checked in for Houston. The 76ers also with a sub. Embiid's checked in. Here's Whitmore from down in the low post. It goes. And that's now 10 points for Cam Whitmore. The 76ers leading by 14. And stolen by Whitmore. Here's Bullock. And it's Melton with the rebound. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Shoots over Bullock. The 76ers with another miss. Houston's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. No good from outside. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Joel, you got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Pass to Whitmore. Gets it to drop, and now he's Whitmore. shooting at a five for eight clip. And Whitmore a beast inside because of his power and ability to elevate. Shot on the wing. Gets it to go. That one good for Melton. Assisted by. And the 76ers Patrick lead by 16. Rockets have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. In some solid looks for them. Bullock, good. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Took him no time at all on that one. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half.
Embiid with a major contribution thus far. He's a guy that can carry his team. Oubre with the steal. Over Thompson. And again, it's Philadelphia. Even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. They've got to tighten it up. A flawless finish on the alley. Beautiful setup. You see right there, Alperon Shangun. His game isn't all about power. Philadelphia leading by 16. Here's Beverly. It's rebounded by Houston. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Pass to Melton. Takes it off the glass. I love how much fight Melton has in him. This guy is just gritty. Not letting the defender get the best of him there. And Thompson kicks to Shangu. And here's Bullock from the arc. That one no good. The 76ers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Melton, no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pass to Bullock for the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Timeout, Timeout time call, the 76ers. Calls. How about Joel Embiid? A high-risk, high-reward pick turns into a superstar. Yeah, that's well said, Greg. I mean, he sat out two years before even seeing the NBA court. Sustained a foot injury before being drafted. Persevered through that. And is now one of the most dominant big men and players in the game. for Reggie Bullock and it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. Philadelphia also making some changes. Tobias Harris has checked in for Oubre. Tyrese Maxey comes in for Korkmaz and it's James Harden in for DeAnthony Melton. that one Harden. Harden's got 40 points no oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game he's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him Smith with a screen on Beverly here's Van Vliet capitalizes off the crossover Van Vliet's got 21 it's been all Van Vliet tonight. One of the best undrafted players in league history. And Harden with the stuff. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. The 76ers leading by 20. Here's Maxi. That's in, coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got assist number seven for him tonight. Now Van Vliet. And it's Brooks in the corner. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Dylan Brooks. They didn't get a chance to knock one down in the first. But the defense left him a look, and he nailed it. He'll make them pay when he's open. 
and certainly they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the league. As long as they're good shots, take them, and as long as they're falling, continue to take them. Lock at six. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. Back to Smith. Gets up a three. It's hauled in by Beverly. And here's Embiid. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. Here's Maxi, And the 76ers tack on two more. Every time Maxi steps on the floor, you expect a big scoring night. Tyrese can explode offensively at any time. Stolen by Beverly. Harden outside over Green. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Beverly. Patrick Harden's Beverly. got 44. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. And bleed on the wing. Defended by Beverly. Outside, Green. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. And so much for repeating. Three-point barrage oh, 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 in the first half. Nothing here. here. In the second. You know, when he's driving, Joel Embiid is really focused on scoring through contact, and he's got the strength to be able to do it. Here's Green. It's hauled in by Beverly. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. That one a little long. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. Goes up on the wing, and the 76ers tack on two more. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Harris looking it over. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Rocket shooting very well right now. 52% in this fourth quarter. Green against Harden. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on James Harden. Uh, something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism. That free throw, no good. Clark, I'm not sure there's been another era in the NBA with so many fantastic passers at every position. Yeah, you know, I think it's a function of what we saw going back into the 80s with Bird and Magic and how they shared the ball and were such great passers. Then you had another group of outstanding playmakers at the point guard spot and on the wings. Um, so now, centers at this particular stage in the game's evolution are playmakers, excellent passers, and are players that teams can run their offense through. So I think it's just been kind of a, a natural evolution because of the skill level of all players when it comes to passing. Smith outside, the pass to Van Vliet. From deep, Brooks, another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Another miss by Philadelphia. And for Houston, they're shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks to the middle. And he finishes nicely on the way. Smith's got 20 points. He has been fantastic. Jabari Smith having a night. They've got to keep getting him looks. And so it's going to end up in the record book as a blowout, a dominating performance for Philadelphia. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for James Harden. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. 
Van Vliet finds Brooks. Out, out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. Still. Rockets ball. Fifty-one seconds left in the game. Hangs on the trifecta. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities. From the, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. And the 76ers call time here. They're up by 20. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. and really good energy from him all the minutes he was on the floor. He was determined to make an impact every time he touched the ball, and he did just that. Guys on both squads could learn a lot from what he did here tonight. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. There's 49 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Three-pointer, Brooks. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. And Embiid has got the ball here for the 76ers. Over Brooks, and Embiid Joel, gets it to go. Embiid. Embiid's got 30. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. Here's Korkmaz. Rockets with the rebound. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G8, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw that's it up. The end so of the it's game. Philadelphia winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. No, that's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who's standing by with our player of the game. Take it away, David. Thanks, guys. James, you had it going. How confident were you all offensively? I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to win. Like, I, honestly, if I got to score a lot of points tonight, teammates were making shots, they were playing hard. Um, it was a great team effort. I, whatever the team needs me to do, I'm willing to do. Everyone was clicking tonight, man, and it showed. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you for that, David. We're glad you joined us, folks, for this preseason game. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, James Harden.